So in this video I'm going to do a little bit of organizing. So uh, as we progress I want to do some lightning tutorials so these shader files get longer and longer. So that's why I decided to do a separate uh, shader loader file and separate this vertex and uh, fragment shader out from from the main program so I'm just gonna create a new Python file called it shader loader that py it is here okay so the first file I'm gonna import open gl uh, open gl dot gl from open gl dot gl import all import all and uh, import open gl dot gl dot shaders okay so first I'm gonna define a load shader function load underscore shader Up. and it, load underscore shader okay and this will be the shader file so I'm gonna create shader underscore source source an empty string called shader source and in that empty string I'm gonna load the vertex and and the fragment shader so with open with open uh, shader file shader underscore file as f with open shader file as f uh, shader source shader underscore source equals f dot read equals f dot read so after it readed all the lines to the shader source uh, string of course I'm gonna close the file and return this encoded version encode uh, shader source so let me double check shader source empty string it open shader file shader source f dot read f dot close and return the string encoded shader source okay so the next function is the compile with a lower case c compile shader and it will take a vertex shader and a fragment shader as <coughs> as inputs so word shader is equal to the load shader 
road shader and the VS and the frag shader will be equal to the load underscore shader load shader and the fs fs so and i'm not gonna type it out just gonna take this what i did and uh, take this line and cut it out so control x and the shade paste into the shader loader okay so rename it to word and the this to frag shader and return the shader so that's all for the shader loader and now in our main program we just gonna I just created a, a shaders folder so in that folder I'm gonna create the vertex shader and the fragment shader so I'm gonna cut all these out so control X paste into the sublime and save it as new texture this is the yes this is the uh, vertex shader so uh, where it is desktop tutorials setup and shaders I'm gonna name it as let's say video 14 vert dot vs or vertex shader so when as you see sublime takes gives us a beautiful syntax highlighting you need to install this plugin go to tools command palette ctrl shift p and uh, just search for install packages and uh, after it search for opengl glsl plugin and install it and you will get this syntax highlighting and uh, with with this highlighting it's i think much more readable is much more readable so this is the vertex shader i'm gonna create a fragment shader so new file gonna copy or rather cut this out <coughs> I paste it here mm. the indentation and just save it as video 14 and frag that with the file extension fs and File for the vertex shader it is that vs so okay 
So now I'm gonna just delete these two. Shaders frag and FSVS. So okay. So now I'm gonna just delete this import import OpenGL GLs shaders and I'm gonna import my shader loader. Yes, shader loader and. Uh, Shaders. Uh, let's uh, let's name it shader. Is equal to the shader loader dot compile shader shader loader at compile shader and. Uh, This in the mm, it is in the shaders directory shaders slash the video fourteen word video fourteen word dot vs video fourteen word dot vs and shaders forward slash video fourteen frag dot fs. So if everything went okay, Then it should work. So video 14 should loader. Let's run it. Yes, it's work. <laughs> 